Today's daily dose of math is a situation where we actually use the y equals ax plus b form for the linear function and some other knowledge about straight lines math to solve a problem in a real life situation. And the situation I'm talking about is one that actually happened to me the first time I went to Barbados. I was there with my wife and my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law and on the first night in a rental house we were staying at, my sister-in-law came to me and she said, Doug, I need to put something in the oven at 350, but the dial on the oven only goes in Celsius. What temperature should I put it at? Now, here's the oven and here's the dial and you can see it only goes a little higher than 300 and that's not what we were, we were used to. This happened before the rental house we were staying in had internet. And it happened before any of us were in the habit of bringing our phones with us when we went on vacation. So I really had to figure out something without using the internet or technology. But fortunately, I knew that the relationship between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit is a linear relationship. And I knew a few temperatures in both because there are some common temperatures that you hear more than once when you are dealing with the difference in temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit. I knew, for instance, that minus 40 Celsius and minus 40 Fahrenheit are equal. This is the temperature on the two scales where the number is actually the same. I also knew that the freezing point of water is at zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And I knew that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So I had three points that are on this straight line, and I had to figure out the equation so that I could plug Fahrenheit equals 350 into it to see what the Celsius value would be. So here's the coordinate plane, and what we're doing here is we're putting the degrees Celsius on the x-axis, and the degrees Fahrenheit are on the y-axis. And I'm going to use the y-intercept as the first point that I will put on here. So 0, 32, 0 Celsius Fahrenheit is the 32. That gives us a point right here. I'm not in a situation where I need all three points, so I'm just going to use two of them, and the third one we will use to verify. So I'm going to use minus 40 minus 40, which will be about here. At this point, I can draw a line it's a little shaky because I'm not drawing it with a ruler, but I have my line. And the way I did my graph, I don't really have room for numbers this large, but I don't need them. I can find the equation for this straight line and I can use that equation to verify. So what do I do next? I'm going to plug the y-intercept into the b position in the form. We know it's y equals ax plus 32. And I'm going to plug the minus 40 minus 40 point into the x and y positions. Notice that it's ax, the a came first, but because the number that I know, the minus 40 is an x, I put minus 40 first, the way we're used to doing when we have a term that is a combination of a numerical coefficient and a variable. So now we have to solve for a, and once we do that, we will know our y equals ax plus b equation. First, I'm going to move the minus 40a to the left. Sorry. That means it becomes positive 40a. And I'm going to move the minus 40 to the right. It'll become positive 40. That gets rid of the negative signs. I get 40a equals 72. I divide both sides by 40. A is equal to whatever 72 over 40 is, which happens to be 1.8. And I know my equation. Y equals 1.8x plus 32. I should be able to use this equation to find any other points I want, but I'm going to start by verifying with this 100, 212. The 100 is the Celsius, which is the X. So I have Y equals 1.8 times 100 plus 32. And 1.8 times 100 is 180. And 180 plus 32 is indeed 212. So we have verification that our equation works. Now I'm going to plug in the question that my sister-in-law asked me at the beginning. 
what is 350 Fahrenheit in Celsius? Well, the Fahrenheit is the Y. So I'm replacing the Y with 350. And now I just have to solve for X and I can answer the question. 350 minus 32 equals 1.8 X. 318 equals 1.8 X. I just have to divide both sides by 1.8. These cancel. I'm running out of space, but X is equal to whatever 318 divided by 1.8 is. So I will calculate that in my head really quickly. And you just be patient while I do that. Okay, I calculated that in my head, and it turns out 318 divided by 1.8 is 176.7. And of course, degrees Celsius is the unit of measure, but uh, again, I don't really have much room to show it. So I was able to tell my sister-in-law Oh, uh, it's okay. Just put the item in the oven and set it to about 177 degrees and you should be okay. So this is an example of how this knowledge, the y equals ax plus b, the use of the y-intercept, being able to produce an equation for a linear function and then be able to plug in values into the equation to solve for questions, comes in handy in a real-life situation. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.